Hello friends, I am Franjal. Haven't you seen all the world around? It is full of animals and plants. But there are some animals and plants which are not visible with naked eyes and only can be seen with a microscope. And such creatures are called microorganisms. To know more about them, let's start the video. The first microorganisms are plants. And second are animals. So, first we will learn about the microscopic plants. The, the common ones found are fungi. The fungi is the only correct name for the group of these plants. The single one is called the fungus. But are you wondering what this long straw is for? It is for feeding. Unlike other plants, they don't get their food from the roots. They, get, they eat their food from these straws. They grow on organic dead matter and mainly eat manure, bird droppings, dead plants and animals. And we can say that they eat anything that was once alive. For example, when, the, when a herbivorous animal eats grass, the grass is alive. And when it comes out as manure, it is a waste and a dead plant. The second is algae. They look like dots, but actually they are green in color. They grow in moist places and they are a food for many herbivorous fishes. And not only in soil, they can also grow on bricks which are wet all the time. And now we will learn and some and this is a lake. And some lakes and seas also glow in the night from here. And this is because of the algae named dinophages. Here's the spelling. And now we will learn about microscopic animals. They are of many types, shapes, colors and sizes. The first are germs. Germs are considered very dangerous and they are the biggest microorganisms. And germs mainly cause diseases. And they, are, they grow in moist and dirty places. And their eyes are completely invisible. And the second are bacteria. And just like the fungi, their, their singular is bacterium, not a bacteria. And they cause many diseases such as typhoid, tuberculosis, etc. And they are generally smaller than germs. 
and they have a very long tail visible behind the body. And the third is the virus. As you can see, they are completely ball shaped or we can say they are sphere and they have tiny projections sticking out from their body. And they are so small that even a bacteria needs a microscope to look at them. And the fourth is the amoeba. As they look, they don't spread diseases and they are the very first ancestors of modern humans. And some people won't believe it because they, are, they even don't look like humans and they are very small, but not as small as a virus. They are bigger than it. And the, and the fifth is Lestratium. And the fifth is the Lestrician. It looks a lot more like a bowling pin. But it is very very small. Even smaller than the amoeba. And just like amoebas, they breathe through their body surface. And the last one is the protozoa. And this is the diagram of a protozoa and this is its spelling. They mainly cause diseases such as the malaria and they are mainly found in mosquitoes in their head. And they produce a cocoon like thing in which they live in and this is the way we and protozoa are mainly found in mosquitoes and they make the glands in the mosquitoes head i will show you the diagram so this is the mosquitoes proboscis and these are the cocoons where the protozoa live Now today's video ends here. Now and I will make other videos. Thank you.